Hello. Okay. How's that? <laughs> no, it's my fault. I think I muted <laughs> because I, was, I, I went to the bathroom. Anyway. What can you hear? Oh, yeah. Okay. It was me. I've muted myself. Let me see. Volume, volume. I thought I had 10. Okay, maybe I. There. Is. Is that better? Uh, properties. Hello! How you doing? Hope you're doing well. What is this? Check. Monitor and output. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, I should hurry up and do my dailies for today. Because it's almost recent. I have 10 minutes. <laughs> Oh shit. Speed run! <laughs> Speed run. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, okay. Speed run. Speed run. I hate them, let's go. I hate them, let's go. Resets in 10 minutes. Oh yeah, Kave is coming tomorrow. I can't, I'm so. No, wait. I don't think he's coming tomorrow. I think it's, it's Nahida first. I'm sad, okay, never mind. <laughs> I was excited. I thought he would come tomorrow, but no. Wait, where are you? Bitch. Oh, why is that far? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm good. Thanks for coming by. Oh yeah. I'm also just doing weeklies and dailies today. Uh, I want Nahida, but I want to save up all my primos for Kave. I want his boyfriend to come home. I guess I still have time to like uh, farm materials for Kave. Fuck you, bitch. Our bond is strong. The wind knows me. Here you are. Stand with me. Into the wind. Let's go. What's this? What's this one? Abyss Mage. Oopsie. <laughs> Apparently the the morning flower will be in the new area. That's funny, raw dog in Genshin. <laughs> Yeah, um... 
It is. It is so pretty. Uh, and I think his talent material, the boss talent material, is probably gonna be the the new weekly boss, <laughs> the the big lizard boy. Oh my goodness, I hate balloon commissions. I don't know. It's just so st it feels so stupid I don't like it stabilize dare to mess with me huh. <laughs> we'll see about that Thank you for the fruit and veggies. Yeah. Zhang Li. <coughs> what was that? Solidify. Let's light it up. Dare to mess with me. Trying to kill the other thing. Move. This one too. We'll see about that. There we go. Let's go, hurry up, hurry beach, hurry. I'm trying to push you, I'm trying to help. Come on, come on. I have five minutes left. There we go, okay. Catherine. Sippy, sippy. Anyway, Ad Astra. did they ever release Thank you for his uh, Ad Astra. actual ascension materials? Like, did they say it yet? Genshin, what's Kaveh's <laughs> ascension materials? Please, I need to know. Genshin, I need to know. I'm excited for Layla's hangout. I love Layla. She's so cute. Why did you release a cat girl? But no ascension materials. Hello. Genshin, I'm desperate. And there's new artifacts. And the new artifacts look so pretty. Like the flowery one. And then the, the hydro one. Apparently it's going to be good for child. Yeah, Layla, so cute. She's a sleepy girl. Which is kind of like me because I'm always kind of sleepy when I'm... Bitch, listen to me. Because <laughs> of my meds, I'm always like, oh my goodness. I'm late to stream again because I'm sleepy. It takes me out and then it gives me nightmares. And you know, last night... Last night I had I had a weird nightmare. It uh <laughs> it was so stupid. I don't know, like uh, in the dream I wanted to I wanted I was hungry and I wanted to buy Jollibee and I was like But they don't accept G Cash which just in the dream I thought uh, they don't accept G Cash. So I needed real cash, but all my money is in Gcash. So, so I found somebody who could. Hello, is there a chest here now? 
I found somebody who could exchange my Gcash money for real money. Except there, there's a stupid new authentication thing that Gcash released, apparently. This is in my dream, by the way, for anyone who's like walking in. This is just a nightmare that I had last night. I, like, uh, Gcash, please don't sue me. I'm not spreading misinformation. I am just talking about my dream. Anyway, so there's this new authentication thing that Gcash released. And... <laughs> And apparently I have to I had to play a horror game <laughs> to fr to freaking send money to somebody. <laughs> Got one minute left. <laughs> yes, yes. I had to play a horror game and then I, I had to play it on for some reason. I had a thirty three ten phone, Nokia thirty three ten, and it was like. The first phase was like pr protect the haunted house. It, it was kind of like whack a mole, except the controls were just with my 3310. And it was like every time a ghost showed up, I had to slap it, and I and I couldn't tell which buttons were supposed to hit the ghosts. So, <laughs> so I kept missing, and then it made me play like a like a game that kind of reminded me of Resident Evil. <laughs> And then so it was like, for real this time, like in, 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 okay, there we go. In real life, like because I failed the stupid 3310 pixel game, I had to fight for my life. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you only need a certain points, a certain amount of points to actually send the money, right? So I was like, I'll, I'll tr just try my best. I'll just stop here at, at the entrance and... Oh, what what's happening? Do I have my commissions? There we go. <laughs> and I was like, I I don't have to finish the whole game. I just need a certain amount of points to like do G cash. And the the scary the scary villain was a little girl who's secretly a demon. <laughs> and I was like. And they're like, oh, you need to, to solve a puzzle to unlock the front door. And they they had this evil butler who's actually like an evil scientist who, who would like dissect their victims. And I'm like, oh, shit, fuck. Like, I know who he was, except like the, the you know, the audience was not supposed to know who he was. And but then when you look at somebody's character design, you're like, oh, shit, this this bitch is like the evil doctor in every goddamn video game and i knew that and i was like oh bitch he, he's gonna kill us and then i guess he was trying to sabotage us the whole time and i was like bitch i just want to send money i want my jollibee <laughs> and i i did solve like the lock but then i was like i, I don't want to play anymore i'm fine I, I have enough points i can now send money to this guy and then i can get real money and now I can buy my Jollibee, and then I left, and then the the ghost was pissed because I didn't finish playing the game. <laughs> and, I was, and I told her like, "Bitch, I'm never gonna play your game ever again." <laughs> and this bad scientist was also pissed. What is the a slime? <laughs> scientist was like saying that's what you get for making your puzzle so complicated nobody wants to finish the game <laughs> where's the oh are we done oh <laughs> what oh you're nobody's bye bitch <laughs> Anyway, again, that was a dream. Gcash, don't sue me. <laughs> yes, I know, sir. Come on. 
Okay. Anyway, I don't. It could be my meds that are making me. Too slow. That are giving me these wild ass dreams. Maybe sometimes they're funny. Sometimes they're scary. And I'm like, it, it just depends on how you look at it. It's like, maybe it was scary. I thought I was gonna die, but at the end of the day. You know, that was really funny. <laughs> Teamwork is dreamwork. Have fun with this gift. Squall and fury. Where else? Okay. Yeah. Do I have more? This one? <gasps> it's the thing! Okay. I'll show you guys a trick. I think I showed this the last stream, but I'll show it again. Fuck, why is it raining? I say that like. No, not that one. Please. Please. I'm trying to show my chat some tricks. It's called Trick Shot with Arataki Ito. Oh, it stopped raining. Okay, thanks. Is this working? Um, I feel like. Oh, almost there. I think it zoomed in a little bit more. All right. I think it's supposed to be like here. <laughs> almost, almost. We can do it, Ito. We can do it. Oh she go, oh she go, oh she go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. We did it. No, not you. Okay, the last one. Impregnable defense. <laughs> Ito is wholesome. <laughs> Can you come faster? Yeah. You know, this is at least better than Ella Musk. I hate her <laughs> the most. Stabilize. The wind knows me. Time to go. All right, we're come closer, beach. I don't have a bow character. Could you die, please? There's just one beach. How did you get there? How did you get there? Don't worry. I 
fucking get you. There we go. Perfect. Now daily commission rewards. <coughs> I love his sword. It's so pretty. Add Astra. Thank you for com And then we must claim our what's it called? Fragile resin. Oh yeah, I miss the spices from the west. Event like it's always so fun to like cool. I had I had sapwood on Dendro Traveler. What? Oh yeah. I don't have a lot of gems like coins. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that's good. It's the it's the Sumero teapot. If you ever I think you get it after the Sumero icon quests. It's so pretty. And the and like in the middle of one of the islands, like here, it's a fishing spot. It's a fish spot, not fishing spot. It's a fi <laughs> it's it's a little aquarium. Anyway, hello, small. Um, what's it called? Small tour of my teapot, and this one. This one is Raiden's. This one, I think it's Raiden and Yamiko's preferred set. I'm right. Perfect. This one is Toma's <laughs> preferred set. Yeah. Toma, Kuki, Yoimiya. I don't have Yoimiya, but she's cute. I want her. Ito, Ayato, and Ayaka. This one? Is it because of the food? Yeah, and this one is Haizo's favorite spot. Haizo is really cute, by the way. Yeah, yeah, Haizo, Yamiko, Goro, Yoimiya. I kind of want your Mia, especially like I think she's good with with uh, Yelan. Oh, oh yeah, it does a sparkly thing. It reminds me of like Barbie fa Fairytopia. <laughs> I guess. Like I want to live in one of those flowers. I'm just saying. And this one, you can put fish in it. It's so pretty. Like I don't think I remember any of the other teapot things where you can raise fish well yeah you can change what kind of fish is in here it's pretty <laughs> yeah it's just that one hold on what what do i do today oh yeah weekly so okay so let's go to scaramouche Hell yeah. That's good, that's good. It's always so fun, like, redecorating your teapot. <coughs> it's like very chill Sims vibes when you're building your teapot. Unfortunately, you have to actually, like, build the furniture that you want. <laughs> there was one time, there was one time I had to, I was trying to build this set and it has like a fence and I didn't know that there were two identical fences and turns out I didn't have the other one. <laughs> and it needed like 40 pieces of those fences and I made like 20 before I realized that I had the wrong fence this whole time. And it was a... It was a fence that I could only... What? 
Okay. A bitch. We're not. Ow! Don't touch me. And it was a fence that, uh, from that was from remarkable chests. Thank you. you I, I kind of, I, I still want better artifacts for him. Like if I could get him, if I go, if I could get a proper crit rate circlet for him, I could give him Widsith instead. Which is crit damage and raises his crit damage a whole lot more than what I have right now. Also, Farazan helps a lot because she does uh, buff animal damage. Solidify a thousand eons, mine to dominate. Yes, I know, sir. Burn to oblivion. Excuse me. Oh. Where? Stabilize. Cuz his music this one is my favorite. Whoa, 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 whoa. But yes. Yeah, it truly is. That's why I play Genshin all the time, Skyra. Because reality sucks. <laughs> Bitch! There we go. Hello, hello! How are you doing? Hell yeah. There we go. Oh, what's this? Ew. <laughs> it's only good for... I don't know, Goro probably. True. Sometimes that happens. Oh, Crocky, Crocky Dial. I wish there was more mobs that gave out chicken. And because there's there's too many right now that ha that drop meat. And what am I gonna do with all this meat? Like I wish they made the, the spices from the West event permanent. You know. It's so fun feeding your characters. Do I have. Uh, I wanna. I don't usually give food. Like here. Like food buffs. But sometimes it's fun. Sometimes. This one. 
like Deluxe, once upon a time in Mondstadt. Do I want to eat these? Not really, no. Oh, they're tomatoes. Deluxe has cherry tomatoes, that's so cute. <coughs> I think this is American cheese and this one is like fancy cheese. With like dollops of another type of cheese and basil. Ooh. Since it's spread. Shield strength for 30%. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's go. Yeah, w that wasn't a character gift though. That was something I made with my day look. <laughs> but I saved the ones for the characters this that I don't have. Quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. Wind rises. Upon the gale, I should take you more seriously. Stabilize. Yes, you should, sir. All you do is run. No use squalling fury. I would never hide from you, sir. Snap my neck, sir. Step on me. <laughs> Excuse me. you'll get Farozen also in one of your pools. Too late for regrets. Yeah, it's Skara. There we go. I didn't even have the time to... Artifacts are bad again, but at least I got uh, the what's it called? The other thing, the sky blue one. <laughs> exactly. I wish it was easier to use child. I guess, like for exploring, his he. I can only like use him properly with Xiangling but for bosses he's good with Mona who else I think I don't have a lot of uh, storm terror I will use Raiden instead what is the situation let's go Moo. Storm Terror, I'm coming. Ooh. Earth Dragon? Nah, I have a lot of age to her. Huh? 
kümmern. Oh, Bitch. <lacht> das ist fest. Okay. There we go. Yes, I have ice in my Red Bull. Well, that was fast. <laughs> okay, I'll hit them. What did I feed you? <laughs> Apparently, he loves steak. Okay, sir, where shall we go next? Yeah. Uh, I was gonna. Hmm. Maybe farm for Kave. Or should it be his uh, artifacts? Curses. Or sand in my shoes. Okay. Maybe artifacts. Because I can. Because I can farm the dendro cube, a cube anytime. But artifacts are hard. Weather. It's perfect for doing nothing at all. It's perfect for doing nothing at all. You're so cool, I'll hate them. <laughs> Can't wait to get your boyfriend. Up. I thought it was gonna be tomorrow, <laughs> but no. What was I doing? Why did I check? Who, who was I checking? I don't remember. Still have. Why is there three? Okay. Still have one patch before we see your boyfriend. I'll hate them. I need these. Yeah, the the Sumeru wood is so complicated because most of them you can only get from here. If you have, like, if you need Sumeru. Uh, furniture. Kave's arriving after Nahida's phase. So it's Nahida first and then Baiju and Kave. Yeah. I like I like uh Nilu. She's cute actually. She's always fun to use when I like these bitches. They only exist here. Karma Fala. Like, Sumeru is such a big place. But how come Karma Fala only exists here? It's a huge ass forest. I thought they would separate the new character. The, the new 5 star character from the new 4 star character but no you, you, I gotta pull on Baiju's better to get Kave <laughs> excuse me yeah yeah but I need Nahida to stop showing up before I need to pull for a favorite character. I skipped Nahida once because Child was coming. And I had to save all that I can because Child was coming right before Scaramouche. Yeah, you'd think it would be easy to get the new 4-star sometimes. 
But when I was trying to get Dory, I got Ganyu first <laughs> before getting Dory. <laughs> Wait, I want to try Scaramouche in this domain. My, 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 why have oh why did it have to be defense defense disgusting and there, there's also a part of me that wants to build Ganyu however I have so many uh, other characters that I want to build first and I don't have the money I got broke when I was building this boy I like his his crit to damage ratio, but I would love a better one. Wait, wrong one? Desert? Why did it have to be HP? No. Compare that to what? I, I also only have crit damage. EM attack HP. Would this be better? Because if I use this, I can put like a crit rate circlet on him. Crit rate. Yeah. And then I can use Widsith. And his damage will be higher. Yeah, I love my archers. Search for it. Solidify. Adventure time. Dare to mess with me? Don't touch the white. There we go. What? Too slow. Cave, cave, cave. Hello? No. What? It's something. Attack. EM. This is okay as well. Oh shit, fuck. Didn't mean to. Alright, thanks for the hydrate. <laughs> I was trying to exaggerate my sipping. <laughs> it sounded so it sounded bad. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. Take me back. I think it wants me to use I'll hate them. Fear in me. One with nature. I'm getting sick. Illusion shattered. As one with wind and cloud. The wind knows me. The process of elimination. Ta da. It's so elegant when he does his burst. <clears throat> what the fuck? Dendro, please. Why? What in the RNG? I 
It's all HP. Did they release any new Kabe stuff? Can I? Can I? No. How's the drip marketing? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Okay. What would Kaveh need? I don't know. Would he need? Incomplete hangout event. Maybe he would need, uh, what's it called? For justice. Spore. Maybe he needs spore. I, mean, I could use Scar. But replace you. For justice. Hey, the big boy. Hey, the big boy. Hey, the big boy. Let's go. Let's go. Mushrooms. Too slow. Mushroom boys. Where are you at? Quit following me. Huh. Too slow. Oh, I see crystals over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Solidify. Time to act. Yes, thank you for the spore. Quit following me. Huh, too slow. I heard they're replacing Tainari's VA soon. Gather. Order guide you. Rain outlines your fate. We'll see about that. Oh shit. Cave prep. Cave prep. Yeah. Stabilize. Oh, ew. Missed. <laughs> Give it to me. him because I didn't like hearing his voice anymore <laughs> but they're replacing him I kind of wish they could replace him in Al Haytham's video as well like his collected what was it called it's not collected miscellany but the demo the one with the the fab four where all Kave does is talk about him. <laughs> I think there's some here as well. Uh, were were you guys able to collect all your Aranara? Rises. 
<laughs> nice. It took me so long. I w I w there, there was one time where I was only missing one, I think. And I was going crazy trying to check and recheck which ones I missed. Because at, at the beginning of collecting the Aranara, I didn't... Uh, I didn't check them on the on the map. Can you? So I didn't know which one I missed. There's a. Quit following me. I think 76? Hold on, I'll show you. So if you go here in this area, wait, I'll just. I'll just teleport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Ow! I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, you go to this. Let me up, let me up. I call them Spider-Man stars. Seventy-six. <laughs> There's seventy-six. And if you go here, yeah. And if you go here, in this area, there will be a shit ton of of chests, and then there would be like. A, lu a luxurious chest here with two of the like bigger chests. I forgot which one. Precious chest or the, the exquisite chest? I don't know. I don't remember which one was bigger. But yeah, like this room is full of treasure, and they don't unlock until you get all of them. <laughs> This one, it's like I really want. Yeah, I, I kind of went crazy because I was missing something, and then it turns out it it was in this. It was in one of the towers. This one. I was only missing that one. Like it took me weeks to check and recheck all seventy six locations. Because I was too stupid to realize that I missed that one. Because I was so confident that was like, that I was like, that's the first, that's the first tower I unlocked. There's no way I didn't get it. But no, turns out I didn't get it. <laughs> I was so cocky. I can't offer either. <laughs> I hope we can offer next time. Here, I don't, I don't know if you've done it. I don't know if some people missed it. But to get the R and R there here I'll show you. Too slow. Let me up. Squall and Fury. Yeah, the Korok seeds. Hello. No, my sword. Convenient. I'm trying to hunt down your kind. Where's the star? 
Where's the star? There was a star here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There we go. So yeah, here. To get the Aranara. You need a Electro character. Auntie. Well, since you, you, you need to hit it. And then look for the Aranara. Like this. Like you can only find it. <laughs> if you hit it with Electro first. And this was the exact tower that I was too cocky to be like. It's impossible. I, I would have seen this already. But no. I kept passing here because I was like, of course I got this. It was one of the earliest towers I unlocked. And then no. I'm stupid. What else? What else? Hmm. I do have some story quests that I need to do. I could continue Farazar. Yeah, like wh which one have I? Whoa. Potential students, toys, and how to play with them. I want, I want this one. I want the other options. Okay. Let's go back to Benet. You, you want me on your team? Yeah, I do. And right in. Stay close and you will live. Who else was I gonna Oh there we go. What now? Master said there's no feel for Madame Farazan. But but if I get her in trouble with the academia, then she won't have the time to help me. Let's think of a way to get her to part his DI. Let's go. If someone does complain to the academia, wouldn't it make Farazan's situation more awkward? And if the academia investigated and found her at Party's DI, things would get even worse for her. Do you have some way to invite her over to Party's DI without stepping on the academia's toes? I do have the makings of an okay, idea. Okay then, I'm counting on you. to teach students from her Ravitat or Okasharawar a favor. It strikes me that they might be even less happy about such a deal than I am. Her Ravitat is Alhatham's Darshan, right? <laughs> I think I can sympathize with them. Madam Farzan, we're back. <sighs> Sorry for asking again. <sighs> well, since you're asking me so sincerely, let's just ignore the academia. And please, Madam Farzan, focus. Today's the deadline. <gasps> Actually, Tainari wants to invite her over to discuss some research. Ah, ah, yes. I see, I see. No wonder he sent you two over. Why, that lad didn't make it very clear in his letter, now did he? Otherwise, I would have reported it as part of my research. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Master sent this over <laughs> to explain everything to you. Wait. Opportunities for collaborative research don't just come out of thin air. This seems like too much of a coincidence. Also, there isn't much yeah. overlap between Madame Farazan's research and that of Amorta, right? What will you even be collaborating on? Uh, Master wants to research uh, a fully automated irrigation system. <gasps> a fully Amazing. automated irrigation system? Precisely. Um, it's a system that can automatically adjust the amount of water it provides based on the season and the plant species involved. I saw a similar mechanism while exploring a rune in the rainforest. That's why Tainari wanted to collect. Yeah, that that happened in in the the circular. <laughs> a mechanism like that exists. What 
haven't I heard of it before? I, uh... I found it a hundred years ago. So it's only natural that you don't know about it. Why don't you go ask your teacher's teacher? Perhaps they've heard about it from their teacher. Uh... But we can't prove its existence one way or the other, right? Fret not. I'll have Tainari write an official proposal to the Academia later. That should do it, right? An official proposal. <sighs> Fine. We haven't made any progress with either the collaborative project or the elective course anyway. I'll go inform my superiors now. Please do take care of the paperwork as soon as possible. Don't delay this any longer. Sure. I'll be sure to needle him until he gets it done. Phew. I think she bought it. That was quick Even thinking. This is our first meeting. I must say, we make a good team. She's so pretty. Wow. You made up that excuse on the spot, huh? Uh, Madame Farazan, did you really find an irrigation system a hundred years ago? I mean, we did, but you know. If the academia asks for any details, who knows? It's been a hundred years, so it wouldn't be too surprising if I've forgotten a few details. No? Huh? Uh, then how will we explain things to them? <laughs> I'll let Tainari worry about whatever documents we might need to send to the Academia. If I'm right, the request he has in store for me won't be any simpler than the Academia nonsense. Okay. Do we go see Tainari? Do we go see Tainari? Okay. <gasps> I should be... I should be... Sino. I know. Master, we're back. Huh? Where did he go? You don't have to shout. I can hear you. My goodness. Well, you got here much faster than I expected. I thought you'd have a lot more business to take care of. Thanks to the traveler, I was able to. Uh, Pawn off various problems of mine onto others. Onto others? What does that mean? Uh, we can discuss that later. You're looking for me because of the thing you mentioned in the letter, right? That's right. Please, follow me. Ooh. Big ears. He's a big boy. Wait, did I get a new deathmatch? Oh, I did. I haven't properly built him yet. His talents are not up. Like, I have the resources. But I don't know which ones to do. Is this Karkata? <gasps> Karkata, baby boy! Hello! <gasps> Hold on. Karkata. A, a monster? Why is there a monster here? Don't be scared, Kale. This is the mechanical life form the Traveler and I saved a while back. Its name is Karkata. It's the final work of a late junior of mine. You mean Abatui? He must have been a genius to create one of such polish all by himself. It's uncommon that a sponge mod researcher is able to create such an intricate machine. Why am I hearing an echo? If you were still around, we could probably chat the day away. Yeah. What a shame. Hmm. Something seems wrong here. Have you been maintaining it? Mechanical life forms are much more fragile than they look. Uh, is Karkata... Is being in the greenhouse giving them like an echoey Karkata has been lying down like this since a few days ago it could be an old malfunction acting up again I've taken a few courses conducted by Spontamod before so I've managed to perform some passable repairs on Karkata's energy supply module however it seems the issue this time is with its transmission my knowledge can only prevent its condition from deteriorating any further but Madame Faruzan, you should be able to find a way to repair it not necessarily. 
Mechanical life forms are created using techniques from alchemy, elemental science, and more. There are multiple modules here that influence each other. A simplistic knowledge of mechanisms will not serve here. You know that as well. Each mechanical life form is very different from the next. So even I cannot be sure if my understanding of mechanical life forms is going to be of any I use like to our little crab friend here. I like that her bracelets look like rulers. Outside for a minute. I need a bit of space. Before I do a thorough check, everything we just said is but conjecture. All right. We're counting on you, Madame Faruzan. Talk with Tainari. Hello, Karkata, baby. Who knew that I'd encounter a mechanical life form in this manner after a hundred years? Get well soon, Karkata. Where's Tainari? Tainari? We'll wait here till Faruzan finishes her inspection. In the meantime, I'd like to talk to you about her. I also wanted to ask about her past. Her past, huh? Quite a few people in the academia know about what happened to her. Perhaps it'd be best if I'm the one to tell you. I've told you before that she disappeared for 100 years, right? From her perspective, trapped might be a more apt description. Her exact words were... That ruin was crawling with traps and coded inscriptions from wall to wall. I did all I could to decipher the code and deactivate the traps to escape the ruin, but there was no way out. I lost track of time and I ran out of pen and paper. In the end, I had to use stone shards to write on the walls and on the floor to decipher the code. Then, before I realized it, I ran out of space on the wall. Oh my floor. goodness. I had to calculate all the possibilities in my mind. After that, my memory started to become fuzzy, and my cognition slowed down. She doesn't remember anything else, including the location of the ruin and how she finally managed to escape. When she was found in the outskirts of Sumeru a few years ago, she looked exactly the same as she did 100 years prior. However, she was in a stupor and struggled to form sentences. Only after a lengthy recovery period could she speak again. That sounds traumatizing. The academia speculates that she must have gotten trapped in an unknown ruin while researching machines a century ago. And because of the ruin's special properties that halted her aging, she was able to use those 100 years to crack the trapping mechanism and then escape. Though she had finally broken free, 100 years had passed. Oh. Everyone she knew, and everyone who knew her, was already gone. In the end... Even the academia had to rely on century-old records in the Akasha to confirm her existence. Don't make that face. I'm not telling you this because I want to drum up sympathy. She wouldn't want others to pity her because of past events. Rather, she sees that period of entrapment as an experimental error. As a researcher, she must accept everything that results from her experiments. Even if they don't fall within expectations, even after going through so much, she's returned to Sumeru and still hasn't given up on her research due to changes over the years and drift in academic subjects. She holds some rather strong opinions about the current academia, and she has no shortage of detractors herself. What I want to say is that no matter what era we're in, Faruzan is a true senior researcher in every sense of the word. She has her own deep understanding of various ruins and machines, if there's a chance, you should talk about them with her. It'll definitely be helpful for your journey. Master, Madam Farzan's done. Oh, let's head over. With any luck, she might have figured something out. All right. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> I never thought that I'd encounter a restitution module once again after a hundred years. Abitui really installed quite a few impressive things on this. If my guess is correct. This mechanical life form has displayed attempts at self sustenance before, right? Such as collecting parts to repair itself, for instance? It has collected parts before, yes. It use them for something else, but as far as its design goes, it does have a function like that. I knew it. If I'm not wrong, Karkata's issue lies with its restitution module. Abatui's modified this module extensively, but the core parts and design philosophy are very similar to the principles as I know them. They are all based on principles learned from the ruins. From the, the ruins? The ruins machine once tried to create a perpetual mechanism that could replace life or even surpass it. The restitution module is the result of one of their countless attempts. It replicates the behavior of living things to achieve a self-repair function. However, Hello, welcome. 
Oh, the module Jesus Christ. Serene. <laughs> Huh. Thank you. Uh, energy consumption? Maintenance? Thank you. For example, a living thing's heart can deliver nutrients and blood to various organs. However, the bigger the living thing, the more powerful the heart needs to be. Once the heart is damaged, it'll be hard for that living thing to heal itself, and even the function of other organs can be affected. Even a hundred years ago, I'd only seen it once before. Oh dear, this is going to be a problem. What is that? my current research, I'll need to swap out the damaged parts in the rest of the like I just said. The module is rare, even by the standards of ancient machines. Not only that, but there is very little related research documentation available. Finding suitable parts would be like trying to find a single gear in the vast desert. To say nothing of the difficulty in making those parts from scratch. <sighs> One can only wonder where Abatui found the original part. I might have an idea. Abatui was, for a time, quite passionate about excavating the Great Red Sand. This was when he had just gotten expelled from the academia. You mean to say he found a restitution module in the desert? Hmm. Well, that is indeed possible. No, no, no. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. But the desert's huge. How are we supposed to find the parts that Kakata needs? According to the academia's records, no similar parts have been found in the Great Red Sand over the past hundred years. If we want to try our luck, we'll have to explore ruins that have never been explored before. I do know that a Vahumana researcher formed an expedition team at Should we ask them if they've made any new discoveries lately? The chances are slim, but it's at least more effective than running around like headless chickens. Uh, where is the archaeology? His name is Raid. I think he's stationed at the northeast part of the Hypostyle Desert. Let's go look for him once Karkata settles down. Oh, you and Kale should probably stay. Karkata's condition may be stable, but it would still be better if some of us stay to look after it. Yeah. Besides, you still need to take care of the trouble that the Academia left for me. Trouble from the Academia? I thought you said you pawned it off to someone else. Wait, don't tell me. <laughs> I'll let Kale fill you in on the details. Hello, my husband and child. They're together. One big family. Where? <laughs> oh, are we gonna have to fight? <laughs> Wait, I want to experiment. I want to use child, except it's Shangling. Is it no? It's Kazuha and then Shangling. What, what does Shangling use? Are your artifacts fine? No? Oh yeah, I gave... Somebody else. Pyro damage boss. And uh, which one, which one? Yellow has the other ones. Eh. No time to lose. Hello. Are we gonna have to fight this one? What is 
What's this? Halt. Mr. Raid's permission is required to proceed any further. She's a researcher from the that academia. Still won't do. Mr. Raid told us to keep people away from the ruins so they don't damage the site. Damage the site? I've excavated more ruins than you've visited restaurants. Which batch of students is Raid from? I want to see him right now. He isn't at the campsite now. You should all leave. Only he can give you permission to enter. <sighs> what a stubborn guy. Um, we can't just waste our time like this, or let's wait for the researcher to come back first. Uh, what happens here? I feel like this is a fork in the road. Hmm. You are right. Even if there is new information, we, we still, still have, have to wait for him to come back so we can ask him about it. So let's just see what we can find out from the people here. Hm. I'm going to give that Raid a good talking to when he gets back. Starting from who in the world mentored you. Okay. Ask the villagers. Oh. Halt. Mr. Ra okay, I'm sorry. Damn. It was an accident. That machine looks like the location seems to fit too. What legend? Hello? Chatty villager. Wow, she's more sad. Sir. Do you have tea for me, please? Tell me what's going on. Don't know anything. We were only hired to deliver water and supplies to them. Okay, never mind. Tired villager. Let us get close to the camp where they're staying. Hey, like fuck you. I could hurt I could hurt your robot anytime. Are you chatty, sir? Curious villager, okay. Chismosa number two? This area used to be ravaged by frequent sandstorms. But it's been calm lately for some reason. They say that this was done by a single traveler. But seriously. A single traveler? Such a thing even humanly okay. Now what? Well, I found out everything I could. Is there anything that stands out to you? The hired villagers with the sensors of this, mach this machine they speak of. Yeah. Ruin Wanderer. That's the first time I've heard that name. But that wreckage did seem a bit weird. What's so weird about it? Far away. And I can't really see for sure from this distance. Yeah, we should, we should. The legend. Huh? What are you guys doing back here? I want to learn more about the legend of the Ruin Wanderer. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you for not knowing about it, youngsters. After all, it's a tale that's over a decade old. It's said that this monster, the Ruin Wanderer, traversed through various ruins for centuries. Many adventurers had claimed to see it while exploring. Some yes. said that it was like a giant, while others said that it was like a beast. However, none knew why it wandered the ruins. Then, about ten years ago, we stopped hearing any news about it in Sumeria. No one has seen it since then, and the legend has since faded into memory. You youngsters probably don't know about the ruined wanderer nowadays, but it was famous for centuries. Centuries? Impossible. I heard nothing about it back then. It could only have been around for a few decades at most. Wait. Back then? Indulge my curiosity for a moment. Why do you think that wreckage is the Ruin Wanderer? Well, I had also heard that secondhand from... You heard that nonsense from the Aramites after they got drunk, right? Hmm? Who are you? Madam Faruzan, it is a pleasure. <gasps> Raid. I'm Raid, Hello. the one who organized this archaeological expedition. I'd heard of you at the Academia, but I didn't expect to run into you here. But truly, it is an honor. And this must be the famous traveler, I presume. What brings the two of you here? Have you found any special contraptions and relics in the ruins that you've been investigating? Ah, I'm ashamed to say that we haven't found anything noteworthy. Even though we've been investigating for a while. Really? That ruin wanderer isn't noteworthy to you? <laughs> I'm afraid those are mere rumors. Really, I sometimes wish that those people would put as much effort into their work as they do into gossiping. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're right, sir. <clears throat> I'll get back to work. The wise do not buy into rumors, so it is said. I believe that you too, Madam Farazan, do not put any stock into such baseless talk. It is also said that real knowledge shall come from practice. I can help you research the excavated relics and see if I can find out any... You can take credit for any new discoveries. I believe this offer to be sufficiently attractive. Uh, 
in truth. I could, however, uh, you two must be tired after. It's getting late, and my subordinates and I are heading back to the camp. There's a tent that the villagers occasionally use to rest. It's a bit simple, yes, but... Since you need to rest as well. Okay. Can we, can we fight somebody? Go to the makeshift camp. Where is it? We're already here. Okay. Okay. This is quite far away. Are they trying to prevent the villagers from eavesdropping on them? Now, I have my suspicions about this archaeological... But based on the condition of the armor and joints, it didn't it's seem like something that had been lying around for centuries. At most, I'd estimate that it only stopped moving about a dozen years ago. Yes, the timing coincides with the spreading of the legend. Now... Assuming that it really is the Ruin Wanderer, how do you suppose it was able to maintain a relatively good condition despite high-intensity operation over the course of several decades? The restitution That's right. Technically speaking, the module shouldn't be able to move such a large machine chassis. However, I'm basing my knowledge on the mechanical life forms I've seen before. You've seen this as well. You've encountered others besides Karkata. Well, this was over a hundred years ago. It was a machine about the same size as Karkata, actually. I couldn't carry heavy objects or fight, and was only able to- It also helped me deliver letters home. I found it near Aww. the desert, which is why I wondered if there might be more restitution modules buried around here. Is it no longer around? Honestly, people in ancient times might have already solved the problem of providing enough power for all I know. I'll need to research this properly. Why didn't you go and investigate Had I confronted Raid right there and then, he would have said that he couldn't tell that the machine was special. Then he'd just hand it over to the Academia obediently, and he'd get away scot-free. If the wreckage were to be handed to the Academia, it'd be much tougher for us to do research on it or get spare parts for Karkata. <sighs> anyway, we should figure out what they're planning before making our next move. They insisted that we should stay the night, which means if they're trying to pull a fast one on us, they're likely to try tonight. Okay. Are we gonna fight? Are we gonna fight? Are we gonna fight somebody? Are sounds coming from the excavation site? I knew they wouldn't be able to wait. They must be scared that we might discover something tomorrow. Not a single person guarding the camp. I'll see if they left any clues behind at their camp. Keep watch and help me stall them if it comes to that, would you? All right. I'm counting on you. Are we gonna fight? C well, go to the excavation site. No time to lose. Exactly, child. Are we gonna have to I fight them? The tent here yet? We, it's still on the way. I'm afraid this is the first time. <sighs> you good for nothings are just a load of trouble, aren't you? We wouldn't have to deal with these interlopers if you had kept those lips of yours from flapping. Hurry up and hide out Jesus the Christ. tent and deliver the new one to me tonight, no matter. Huh? Who's there? It's me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just a bit upset because my subordinates aren't doing their jobs properly. What's this delivery? I hear you have trouble. It's nothing. Just a tent. We didn't pack up all our. T Someone damaged our current tent, so I'm trying to. And get you're my discussing that over here right? because the relics in the ruins are highly valuable. So I'm worried that treasure hoarders and bandits. Are, uh, well. These things are antiques after all. Okay. Speaking of which, wish. I'd like to ask, is the academia really also as far as... I'm right here. Also, you forgot to address me as madam. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> mm, uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> you were all making so much noise that I couldn't sleep, which is why I got the traveler to find out what was going on. Ah, I'm very sorry. Good. Come on, traveler. Let's, yes, we came to check out the situation. We should get better rest so that we'll have. Can we fight? Was I mistaken? What happened? Okay. I'm turning off your light. Those y'all suck. Oh, I missed. It's ours. Hey, <laughs> hey, no warmth for you, bitches. Thanks for dealing with them. Now, I found something good on my end. These, according to them, the ruins have been raided before, with numerous traps and contraptions having all. I also observed the wreckage up close earlier. 
though the weathering is nowhere near as extensive as on the relics that have been... There's no doubt that the wreckage in the ruins don't belong... They could have fallen into a trap or encounter... However, I still don't know why they'd want to... Hide. The last few pages of the excavation records are written in code, which I still need to... <laughs> it's just word... Okay. Hmm. Help! Please help! Oh my Why goodness. Are you running away? Come back! Protect sound! <laughs> it's the big boy. That's impossible! Is this the work of some kind of hidden mechanism? Never mind. We have to focus on saving lives first. I'll cover Let's go. It ignored the truck. Why is it chasing after us? What could have caused it to reactivate? Whoa. Did to give chase? Darn it! Hey! Come on, you lot! It's clear that we can't escape, so let's just attack! Oh. <sighs> I fell asleep again. It stopped? Hey, you guys! Get up there and tell me what's going on! But what if it suddenly moved? You! You good for nothings! Why is everyone I hired so useless? Move! I'll do it myself! <sighs> like this thing's parts can't handle the load of functioning anymore after years of disrepair. <sighs> when it first reactivated, I was wondering if it'd be as amazing as the legends had pegged it to be. I didn't expect it to be so much weaker than it looks. Disappointing, you say? Now is that because you won't be able to sell it for much? Uh, Farusan, you may be my senior as an academia researcher, but that doesn't mean you get to slander me. You wrote these excavation records, did you not? Or perhaps calling it a ledger might jog your memory a bit better. Ah, uh, I... I don't recognize that thing. Ahem. January 3rd. Excavated five tents. January 5th. Three tents sold. January 10th. One special tent pre-sold. It must quickly oh. be switched out with an old tent. So tent is your code name for You're relics. supposed to be an archaeological expedition team, and yet here you are, secretly selling the relics My and goodness. from it. When you believed that you had found the wreckage of the ruined wanderer, you tried to switch in wreckage that you had excavated previously to pull the wool over the academia's eyes. After all, there would probably be many wealthy buyers interested in purchasing the legendary ruined wanderer in the black market. Yes? And then we arrive. Just before you could finish your work, that forced you to speed up your plan and you tried to complete the switch overnight before I could investigate the wreckage. <laughs> In your haste, however, you accidentally activated the Ruin Wanderer instead. Did I get that all right? I... I don't know what you're talking about. You lack the curiosity Smart people to talk. a man of knowledge, nor do you have respect for mechanical life forms. You're, you're not, not fit, fit to, to be, be a researcher. researcher. Ridiculous curiosity. Respect, I'm not here to hear you. Oh, preach. come on, let's fight, man. I'm we ready to trade. fight. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight, bitch. Come on. I'm ready to throw hands. Oh, what, is he gonna die? Why is it moving again? Run! F oh, Farzan. Some said that it was like a giant. Others said that it was like a beast. However, none knew why it wandered the room. Technically speaking, the module shouldn't be able to move such a large machine chassis. However, I'm basing my knowledge on... Centuries? Impossible. I heard nothing about it back then. It could only have been around for a few decades at most. Why is it chasing after... So you've been looking for me this whole time? <gasps> Friend? Oh, baby! Tamimi? A baby? What, what are these? Neatly penned note. Dear Madam Farazan, the notes and manuscripts were found on Tamimi have been transcribed and organized, and every one of them has been marked with your name. I hope that even after a hundred years, future generations of students will still remember your name, Adam Faroza. This, this is the same one! 
Tamimi's remodeling is going smoothly as it is now. It can learn how to deal with various dangerous situations in the ruins on its own. I wish you could see it with your own eyes. As I worked, I kept thinking that you'd do a better job at this than I could. After all, you're the most exceptional, exceptional student I've ever met. Oft corrected note. I told you not to. Now look, so many people worried, even Tamimi. These are the people who knew Marvin Farzan. Cancelled as they're leaving barely legible fairies. It's a single neat message at the back. Hurry up and come home for a meal. Your mom always makes an extra portion of food, you know. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Tamimi? Farzan's friend? Dear Farazan, I hope you're doing well. It has been over 20 years since you went missing. People from the academia keep telling us to give up and that you're most likely dead. But somehow, I feel like you're still alive. Yes, what the you fuck? live still in some corner of this world. You've always been persistent, able to shine no matter what situation you face. I believe that this persistence serves you well in surviving and finding your way home. Unfortunately, I likely won't be able to welcome you home when you do. I don't have much time left, and my reflexes have slowed. Others keep telling me to stop exploring ruins. Only Tamimi is still the same as before, always running off to places which you've been to. Your teacher and friends came up with an idea to remodel Tamimi. So it can search for you in our place. You didn't like coming home back then and would always get Tamimi to send a letter back. Now we're leaving a letter with Tamimi. I wonder if it'll ever be delivered to you. I don't know the answer to that question, but if you ever read this letter, I hope it'll be when you've already found your way home. Bitch! I regret not being able to say this to you myself, but, but I'll I still feel sincerely happy, happy for you. you. My dear Excuse me! <laughs> what the fuck? Welcome home, Farzan. What the fuck? Look at you, Tamimi. You've changed so much after all these years. What the fuck is this? I didn't ask for feelings. All this time, I've safely received the letters. Your work is done. Oh my God. mechanical life form I encountered back then. When I would go on expeditions, it would follow me, take notes for me, and send my letters home. When I met with that accident, it was on it was so tired. letter for me. I I once thought that I'd never get to see it again. I didn't expect my teacher and others to remodel its self repair function, upgrading it to self learning. And so in order to plumb the depths of unknown ruins and overcome dangerous traps, it repaired and modified itself using parts it found along the way. One decade of wandering became many, and soon, Tamimi, which used to be incapable of even moving heavy objects, became the ruined wanderer. Also, it could deliver these last letters from them to me. Even though they had all passed on, they still prayed for your safe return. The strain to support such a huge body must have turned out to be too much for your heart, right? Even after the remodeling, its restitution module still can't function perfectly in perpetuity. It has been pushing itself beyond this is so sad. the past few decades. Just like a living being, mechanical life forms have a limited lifespan. It probably became trapped in the ruins all those years ago because its shelf life had run out. It most likely only reactivated because it detected my presence. And then it mustered up everything it had to deliver that last letter. Now, it can finally rest in peace. What the fuck? Kainari told you what happened to me, right? I'm you don't sorry. Have to apologize. It's not like this incident is a secret in the academia. Besides, I've always treated it as a failed experiment. As a researcher, I must accept this result. However, finding out that so many people were affected by my failure does make me feel somewhat conflicted. Can you head back to Pardis DI first? We've been here for a while, and it's best not to make Kale and the rest worry. As for me, I want to stay with Tamimi for a bit longer. Oh, Just a bit. Baby. Oh, 
science the only sound that can be hard <laughs> can be heard is a scattering rise of strain gains. Oh baby you turned into this so you can look for Farozan. Rest in pieces. You did a good job. Even after what? Oh, I can sit here. What the heck? Yeah. Can we pet him? Here you go. You deserve pat to Mimi. You did so well. Wait. I need to take a picture. Just to remember this moment. Oh, so sad. What the heck? I did not prepare myself for feelings. <laughs> Feelings for Karkata number two. Where is it? You're back. How was your journey through the desert? Wait, where's Madame Farozan? Tell the whole truth. Yeah, I want them to know. Why would we keep it secret? Oh no. She finally got to reunite with an old friend from a hundred years ago. But as a researcher, she could perhaps accept it. However, as a friend student and a daughter we should give her some time let's just wait for her here and in the future i hope that we can be here to support why are the St sumeru quest so sad like i don't remember the the, the, the previous story quests and hangout quests to be like so sad. Wait until one day later. Okay. I guess. Wait, I wanna fight the mushrooms over here. I didn't expect that at all. I didn't even hit it! It was underwater! to fight you okay let's move to one day later is this one one day okay there Literally. No 
time to lose. No time to lose. No time to lose. My boy, my boy, my boy. Hello, Karkata. I'm back. What? Is there to be no welcoming party? <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Madame Farza. That's more like it. Now, here are some components I brought back from the desert. Switch these out with the ones Karkata is using right now, and it'll be back in ship shape. Hmm? Why do you all look so solemn? Come now. Liveliness befits youngsters more. Madame Aww. Farza. To me, me. <laughs> Come now. I thought that you must have encountered some major problem. This isn't something you have to worry about. Well, it looks like you already know everything. Your best friend. You feel bad. Like I said before, as researchers, we must learn to accept our failures. Tamimi has been operating beyond capacity for a century, and I'm unable to repair it with my current abilities. Not even with these parts. It would thus be much better to use them to extend Karkata's lifespan. As a senior, it is only right that I do something for the people who come after me. That holds true for both researchers and machines. Besides, I didn't say that I would be giving you these parts for free. They will only be used for Karkata temporarily. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to help me with my research. I'll be sure to revive Tamimi once I've fully deciphered and replicated the creations of the ancient... Yes, let's go! All right, I'll do my best to help. Me too! Thank you. I'll help too. If they could remodel to Mimi successfully even back then, there's no reason why we won't be able to do even better. Exactly. When that day comes, I'll be sure to say welcome home to Mimi. Aww. So cute. New friends, a new life. A new beginning. All for Karkata. My goodness. Karkata, where are you? Is he here? What? Where he? I thought he would be here. Where? Other side? No. Oh, that was nice. It's <laughs> okay, these feelings. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> Oh, what's this one? Traditionally made charcoal baked uh, uh, cake. Farzan specialty. Oh. Okay. That's one. The other one is. There's a second? A time to decide. There's a second ending. What's this one? Okay. You're back. How was your journey through the de Oh It's keeping Tamimi a secret? So Madame Faruzan has some other things to say. Madame Faruzan will be able to repair the only one who knows about Tamimi. I should let Farazan decide what I would tell the others about Tamimi. Okay, I see. Wait until one day later. I wonder if somebody already made a watch based on that watch enter party i am here i'm back madam farza that's more like it now here are some components i brought back from the desert switch these out with the ones karkata is using right now so this is a relic of an ancient civilization unbelievable thankfully it didn't end up in raid's unscrupulous hand unscrupulous huh hmm 
Sounds like you already told them what happened. Told them about Is that so? Thank you. We will talk about everything else later. It's nothing. I've already given all the evidence we have against Raid to the academia. They're going to be very busy. Too busy to bother us, I'd wager. I'll start repairing Karkata then. Kale, can you help me out? Of course. So Karkata springs back to life. <gasps> Karkata! Hello, baby. It looks fine, but even so. Yeah, go get some rest. Faruzan went out after repairing Karkata. Well, I will not probe any further. However, if you need any help, do feel free to add. Yeah. Faruzan. Ah, you're here. Thank you for keeping Tamimi a secret. If I tell them about Tamimi, will they still feel happy for Karkata? Oh, of course they would. The they'll probably still feel bad about it. I don't want my past to affect people in the present. That applies to both me and other people. So consider it. You don't have to shoulder all this alone, maybe. I'll... It's fine. I'm used to this. I once believed that I'd never hear from my old friends and family ever again. Even their faces are getting Aww. easier in my memories. However, I could remember them clearly again after reading the letter to Mimi handed to me and learning that they'd never given up on me. That's Aww. enough. I'd be disappointing them if I let myself fall into a slump because of this. Neither my teacher nor my mother would have wanted to see me like that. True. Besides, you're lending a listening ear to me now, aren't you? Oh, Pardia's GI looks pretty scenic at night. Will you take a stroll with me? It would be my pleasure. Once Karkata's condition stabilizes, I'll find a chance to tell Tainari and Kale about all that. But for now, just help me keep the secret. You got Thank it. You. <laughs> the sky is crying for you, Farozan. Now, I have people who worry about me. I suppose I should consider myself quite fortunate. The only time when I felt otherwise was when I had just returned to Sumeru. No one came to check up on me then. <sighs> oh. Welcome home, Farozan. <sighs> Cute. That's kind of romantic. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> this looks very romantic to me. <laughs> What's up with that? Ending uh, rewards. Okay. Potential students because you're an answer time. Okay, this this one. Potential students. I don't remember which branch this was. They never gave up on her. Where we go? Where we go? I could get used to this. I'll be going then. Say hi to Tainari and Kale for me if you can. Once everything here is settled, I'll make my way over True. to Anise DI as quickly as I can. Oh yeah, about Anise. Anise. We haven't had much time. She's able to calmly figure out the basic principles behind stuff. I'll do my best to teach her over the next few days. Still, oh. how much she learns will really depend on her. Why don't you take her on as your well, student? Well, her interest lies in the application of mechanisms. I do have some old knowledge to share. But if we think about the future, it's easier for her to learn the things she's interested in if she stays in Kasharawar. My research into mechanisms is... In a sense, a side effect of my research into ancient texts. If she becomes my student to learn how to make modern contraptions, it wouldn't benefit either of us in the long run. However, if she develops an interest in deciphering ancient texts over these next two days, that would change things. If I successfully poach a student, those young punks at Haravatot will have one less reason to cut my budget. Perhaps if this collaborative project goes smoothly, I can even ignore her avatar and ask for a higher budget directly from the academia. Do you have any ideas? Oh, I could come up with lots of ideas. With Anissa's help, 
two days oh, be enough for our work. Back. However, I'm still undecided as to the style of the reference book's text and illustration. Try to be accurate in detail, try to keep it simple and fun. I don't know. Like I wanna get to the second branch. Are by using detailed and accurate illustrations. Thank you. I'll take your opinion into account. See you in. Okay. Wait until two days later. Oh yeah, child is my. Uh, I don't know if anyone's seen my YouTube videos, but uh, child is my biggest damage dealer so far. This is how it must be. Yeah. While we wait for two days, I could show off a little bit. If you guys don't mind. It's just something fun. Sometimes I like to... Sometimes I like to do this again and again when I'm bored. Can it even come here? Who's next? One with nature. Let me scry. Bitch. I struggle using Mona. I don't like her alternate sprint. Yay! Okay. I just wanted to get all the bursts up. No time to lose. There we go. There we go. Okay, ready? Let's hope I don't mess up the order. No time to lose. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> 230k. No time to lose. I don't have the the resin. But hell yeah, that was nice. <laughs> okay, Sumeru. Let's go. I could do more probably if I leveled if I built Mona. Hello. A. Okay. Yeah, I need to level Mona. I build Mona, I mean. I fake. There you go. Well, for exploration, it's Shangling. With child. <laughs> yeah, I'll shun it. There was one time I was trying to fight Oceanid and the middle platform was missing. It was so weird.
Is it two days? Can I talk to Farozan now? Yes. Where? I hope it's not the same ending. <laughs> Oh, there. Is it? I hope not. Oh, you're here. Her name reminds me of Star Anise. We've called up everyone. <laughs> okay. To sum up, the 24 forms of all right. Let's go to the next page. Now, explain the face layer design of elemental monuments. I feel like I'm in class. <laughs> Are these really toys? They sound a bit too dangerous to buy for children. Oh, oh he's new. I haven't seen him. Uh, well, we've prepared paper prototypes for everyone. Oh, this is no fun. I want to go home and play chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what if I'm just sleeping, standing up? Hmm. Oh no, we messed up. Uh, how did this happen? I'm sorry. I must no. apologize too. You simply gave suggestions. I will find a way to make up for this error. Excuse me, but are you the one who wrote this reference book? Uh, yes. Who are you? Ah, you're that man mountain who was in the crowd just now. Man mountain? <laughs> mountain man? Is it because he's tall and, and buff? I don't look like someone who'd have anything to do with toys. Is there anybody who can make a corset big enough for this man? Let me introduce myself. I'm Kamal, the branch master of Sumeru's Adventurer's Guild. What's the branch master doing here? I came to Port Ormos to visit some old friends. On the way over, I saw the booklet you were handing out, so I... Can you print a few more copies of this booklet and sell them to the Adventurer's Guild? Also, could you make full-fledged models of those paper prototypes and sell them to us as well? Oh, he's a buff nerd. What does the Adventurers Guild want with these toys? You may see them as toys, but to adventurers who need to deal with all sorts of machines. I need Varka to be this body type, rules. man. This booklet is a true treasure. We have many members who can't read, so books are of little use to them. What they know of handling mechanisms has been learned solely through word of mouth. Even if the academia granted public if they access to all their books, make Varka younger, I would cry. Ah, and our booklet is practically all pictures. Well, it is designed for children. Mm, it might be a bit too difficult for children, but it's perfect for adventurers. Also, uh, those paper strips... You called them paper prototypes? If you can make wooden versions for demonstration purposes, even the most illiterate person would be able to follow along and understand. If we can supply a model set for each branch, and if each adventurer carries a booklet with them, then ruin exploration will become much safer. You really think so? <laughs> I mean, yes, yes. I always knew it. Knowledge will always be needed, one way or another. Making models of contraptions for the Adventurers Guild? To be Ooh. honest, that sounds like a good avenue to explore to me. Will there be an issue with the academia? Uh, we'll probably have to send in a separate application, but it shouldn't be an issue. After all, this concerns safety during the exploration of ruins. It's a problem that the academia is actually trying to address as well. Then let's cut to the chase and discuss the details of our first order. <laughs> the amount we're offering to pay in advance this much oh she's so cute what the heck this happy face is so cute hold on excuse me pardon me oh what the heck hello ether your whole knowledge all knowledge will find is use she's happy she gets money what, what, he's holding her like that? Hello, Ether. She's swooning, and Ether is catching her. Hello. Uh, my my brain is doing things. There's just one more. Oh, let's just do it. <laughs> but which one is this? There's only one more problem. One more. 
Okay, let's go. Why not? Okay. Um, I'm guessing this leads to the Tainari one. I'm pretty sure the other one. Yeah, that would be the best bet. I'm sure he'll say. The I can say and help. Let's observe the situation first. Okay then. Okay, let's go. Huh. I have to teach students from True. Or Okash. <laughs> We're back, Madam Farzad. The traveler said that he can Oh. Why I couldn't ask for more. I specialize in solving I'm problems. Curious about the type of person the traveler is. You were the one who taught Azara a lesson after all. That's that is that so. Good. It does so happen that I do have something I need help with. Now, should I apply to teach a course with Haravatat, or join the collaborative project that Kosharawar is proposing? Tell me more about the Haravatat. Oh yeah, I haven't done this one. You might have heard of it before. Haravatat is an academic faction that researches languages and Oh yeah, that's... That's all Haven's Darshan. Ago, Farazan was a researcher from that Darshan. Now, now, not was. Still am. I I yes, of course. But current Haravatat students can't really, um, understand her direction of research. So even if she opened a course, chances are that no one would attend. Direction of In research? Summary, I mean to interpret the configurations and solutions of ruined mechanisms via the deciphering of on-site stone carvings and unearthed documents. The research method is supported by Haravatat, yes, but the content deals heavily with both ruins and mechanisms. This will make it difficult for students of this darshan because they don't understand much about mechanisms. Also, there are fewer and fewer unexplored ruins left nowadays, and Kasharuar researchers have been developing their own theories on mechanisms. As such, they don't need to rely on ancient documents. So this subject is what you might call sunset industries. Is there any research? Ooh, sunset industry is a nice term. <laughs> They're far too complacent. Ancient mechanisms are more dangerous and complex than one might imagine. I'm telling you, things weren't like this a hundred years ago. All researchers back then were interested in exploring knowledge from a variety of topics. They also gave more respect to unknown mechanisms. Nowadays, all people are interested in are mainstream subjects in popular research. Even if they attended my course, I wouldn't be interested in teaching them. Also, the people here think that my research is outdated and unrealistic. So they keep cutting my funding. Why I think they could all stand to learn from Kale. She's a hard-working child and respects her elders. <laughs> she keeps calling herself an elder. Huh? Why me? Uh, if only those who came to my lectures were more like you. Speaking of which, are you feeling better? You don't have to confine yourself to Gandharvaville anymore, right? Uh, I just remembered that I have a lot of studies. <laughs> she skips. Wait, I have an idea. Kali needs to learn how to read and you need to teach her. Oh. has academic dealings with the academia, he isn't considered part of it. This means that Kale isn't technically a student. Uh, does she have to hold this class in the academia? Can't it be a public course? Hmm. No, he's right. The old academia became consumed by their arrogance precisely because they ignored the public. There must surely be many people like Kale and Sumeru who are passionate about learning but cannot study due to various reasons. Yeah, it's expensive and the academia is kind of elitist in choosing which People students get in. Paid no heed to them. But if I start a reading course for Kale as a pilot, perhaps this shall come to benefit many more people in the future. Mm. Exactly. He'll need to go back and ask if this is in accordance with regulation. Oh, save yourself the extra trouble. I'll come with you. If there's any arguments to be had, we shall sweep them aside together. Traveler, Kale, do wait for us a little while outside the academia. I'll ah, wait! I want to be with you, Farozan. Come back. Entrance. Okay, here. I can't believe she rushed right in after we arrived. She's really headstrong. Did I end up giving everybody or seem quite scared of her? Like no, really. 
She had it'll definitely be much better than me. It's just that she can get a bit too passionate sometimes. The way she's excluded her from his she treats researchers. It's because she wants to take me in as a student. It's just like that researcher said. The academia has completely changed during the hundred years that Farazan was gone. I don't really get it. But it does seem like her Ravitat students aren't optimistic about the prospects of doing research with her. Students who are interested in mechanisms and applications of the elements generally enroll in Kasharawar and Spatamad. Madame Farazan also refuses to accept random students just to make up numbers. She still hasn't found a student she likes. Even after all this time. So out. she's a teacher with no students. But she seems to like my attitude toward learning. So she often asks me if I'm willing to become her student. Oh, it's because I'm a slow learner that I have no choice but to stay up late and study. Whenever she compliments me, I feel really guilty. So you're scared of her because she keeps asking you to be her student? It's not that. Madame Farazan respects my choices. She hasn't been this view is me, nice, by the way. Especially <laughs> since she knows I need to rest and recuperate. She sometimes brings food to Gandarverville for me. Aww. That sounds like something a grandmother might do for a granddaughter. So, Kali has two dads and one grandma. Were they, were they convinced or were they coerced? Coerced. Every single page of the application. <laughs> it's been a oh, to live a life like Kali. Have two loving dads and one loving grandma. Let's see now. What do we need to fill in? Course, course name. name. Learning objectives. Teaching methods. Course materials. Hmm. I suppose we can fill in the course name last. Uh, once learning objective is, or our learning objective is to teach people to read, right? A bit too general, I'd say. After all, this class's target audience isn't toddlers or children, but rather people who already know the basics of reading. As such, we'll need a more specific learning objective. How about proficiency? Proficiency in reading and writing. Yeah. That's true. Did we use children's teaching materials? Where will we end up wasting a lot of time on things that students would already know? And you have your job as a forest ranger, Kale. People who attend this course in the future are also likely to have life commitments. We need more effective teaching methods. So other than teaching materials, which have a lot of what does Kale use? Master always tells me that practice is the best way to learn. That's why I often ask him to help me find simple books to read. It must have been difficult to get books in Sumeru in recent years, no? Tainari really went the extra mile for you. Expanding literacy is a capital notion. Now that the academia is easing restrictions on the circulation of books, there should be more people who have become interested in reading. It's a great time to conduct this course. How do we choose our course materials hmm. then? So that's next on the list. I fear that I'm at a loss as to which books youngsters like nowadays. Would the legend of Antara be too old of a story? Even would like to find a tale old. How old is that story exactly? Let's go read some Percy Jackson. About such a thing, but I doubt I will procure suitable teaching materials from the house of Dana. Wait for us, Madam. Let's go get. You wouldn't think someone as fast as her is over a hundred. Let's pick up the pace and catch up. To her. <laughs> she's animal. Of course, she's fast. Oh, there she is. What a long and mildly ungrammatical title. And why is the cover so colorful? Is this your first time seeing a light novel, ma'am? Oh, they're the most popular books nowadays. Would you like me to recommend something? Who's who's this? Is this Dvorak? <sighs> Fine. One shouldn't judge a book by its cover up. Of course. Why do you try this one? It's Outlander. It sounds like Dvorak. The wind of death blew towards the blonde samurai. Is this you, Dvorak? 
uh wait far, far what's his name far Rook. genshin impact voice actor far Rook. no all english and japanese voice actors Beach. Uh, oh, love. Farouk, Farouk, Farouk. But these are only the main characters. Never mind. I can never tell. They don't. They don't really give much attention to side characters. I guess. I heard that this book's author describes action in vivid detail. Hmm. Now I've only skimmed through a few pages. But it feels like it's all fight scenes. There are only subjects and predicates. And the syntax is a tad simple. Uh, subjects? Predicates? The protagonist just ends up fighting in every scene with no proper buildup. Will anyone even enjoy a story that's only comprised of fights? Uh, there, there might be people out there who will. It's for readers who don't care about plot. Um, how about... Uh. The good thing about being reincarnated as a oh my goodness is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. Uh, a reincarnation isekai story? Those are pretty popular right now. Yeah, they are all, all like 90% of the manhwas I read are isekai. <laughs> what in the world is that? She did. Shut up. Why does it become stronger by eating sunsetias? My phone won't shut up, okay. Tropes? Those fictional rules used to push the plot forward, yes? They're definitely effective in achieving a distancing effect. <laughs> Farazan, you should read at least one of them. This distancing effect? However, this book doesn't explain how Farazan, <laughs> explain! Such a logical role will affect the coherence of the story. Will readers really accept this? Uh, so, I, I mean, isn't Genshin an isekai? Like, we're not from Tevat originally, right? Or does that not count as Isekai? So you just don't care much for logic to uh, how, how about this? I had to fight tooth and nail to get this in stock. Oh, that's the latest volume of Onibudo! Hmm. Now that's a rather normal title link. Oh, Kale, do you like this series? Y yes, but I don't like it that much. <laughs> <gasps> She, 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 she likes books like this. Uh, madam, are you going to use this series as teaching material? Let me see. The dialogue flows quite well, but there are too many phrases here that I don't recognize. Somebody needs to teach Faro's on the new memes. Third eye <laughs> perception, illusory mirror, and so on. Are these terms that are tied to tropes? <laughs> those are the Raiden's stuff. I guess there's a language researcher for It's impossible to derive the meaning of these phrases in isolation. Also, their morphological properties are quite pedestrian, really. Or did the protagonist purposely create these strange names to disorient their foes? I think it's because such names are cool. So there's no deeper purpose. Hi. It's quite hard to understand stories written these days. You're right. It's such a weird book. <laughs> but you keep wanting to read the next page. <sighs> Even the most popular book in Sumeru back then had greater depth than anything written today. The most popular book back yes. then? A Bahumana researcher wrote it while researching folk legends. The plot had many twists. The world building was fantastic, and even the writing could withstand scrutiny. When it was still being published, many people in the academia were reading it. Even the sages back then all described the story as a time What's this? classic. The series must have concluded after so many years, right? Perhaps it's even more popular now. Is there a book like that in Sumeru? I've never heard of such a thing before. What's the title? It's called Tales of Shariar. Do you sell it here? Tales of Shariar? Um, uh, I don't think I've heard of that before. About a hundred years ago. A hundred years ago? Are you pulling my leg? What sort of book can remain popular for one hundred years? I mean... The Legend of Antara is popular to this very day, isn't it? I just heard someone telling it a few days ago in a cafe. Dracula, I think. Is Dracula 100 years ago? If an old story like that is still being shared, Frankenstein is still popular. popular. I'm pretty sure it was like many, many years ago. Even if that is the case, I really don't carry that book here in my store. What? Hmm. 
Is that because of the academia's strict control over books in recent years? I can't believe they've allowed the people of Sumeru to become so uncivilized. However, stories like Snow White and Rapunzel are probably like hundreds of years ago, unless I'm wrong. Oh, wait! I think I heard an antique seller on the other end of Treasure Street mention that name before. I mean, it is a book from a hundred years ago. Tales of Shariar is considered an antique now? <laughs> you have let such an excellent work of literature be traveler, Kale. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. It makes me feel so old when people call um, floppy disks antique. Madam, wait! Oh no. You asked me why I'm scared of Madam Farzan, right? Because, like, because I still used it when I was in school. I doubt this counts as a book written in ancient language. This book only one hundred. Yeah, it wouldn't be ancient. Maybe antique, but not ancient. Even so, what if researchers from a hundred years ago like to you? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Are you a couple? Excuse me. Save room for Jesus. Found it. The fifth volume of Tales. Wow, you actually found it. I never thought this book would ever get sold. <laughs> what the heck? His voice is so All deep. Right. That's our teaching material secured. We also now know what to call this course. Analysis of classical texts. After all, this book is definitely worthy of being called a classic. She's just holding a literature class. Can can I take a look? Uh, uh, Are we gonna have to do book reports? I wonder if she still has her collection. And who obtained the desert gem in the end? Sir, do you have the subsequent volumes of this series? Uh, I don't think so. Is that so? And here I thought I could finally read the ending. Never mind, I'll keep searching for the later volumes myself. If I'm to use it as a teaching material, it's better to start earlier in the series. Where are the first four volumes? Why aren't they all together? Uh, I... Don't have those either. Actually, this is the Why is your voice so low? Is this series really that popular? No, no, no. It's not popular at all. Rather, there's absolutely no demand for it. No demand? Impossible. Back then, I'd come across at least three groups of people talking about it during a single stroll at the academia. Maybe another grandma is selling it, Seriously? you know? Seriously? No one told me that this book was anything special when I first got it. Where did you get this from? Can you still contact the seller? I'm afraid not. This book was sold together with a whole bunch of antique furniture. I'm guessing this guy also voiced Asia. Huh? Otherwise, the mantra would have come knocking. Wait, is this book actually worth a lot? <laughs> it can't be right. It... I'm afraid not. It doesn't look valuable. Okay. <laughs> That's impossible. No matter how strict the academia was, there's no way Tales of Shariar could have fallen into such a... I do remember a passerby skimming through the book a few days ago. He sighed? Why would he react like that? Give... I'm sorry. Traveler? Kale? Please give me a moment. I'd like to look through this book first. Why is there another misunderstanding between Ali and Aziz? Also, why is there no mention of the desert <gasps> Did it go bad? And a new character is introduced with no foreshadowing at all? Is this really the tales of Shariar I know? <sighs> oh, the woes of being well, forced to make sequels. <laughs> and it's bad. It's Mada from the cafe over there. You know, the fellow who spends all day telling the Legend of Antara. Oh, that's why that's it's awesome no longer popular. Story. Maybe he knows a thing or two about Then let's go ask around at the cafe, huh? Oh. Yeah. That's so sad. Let's go, let's go. Are we going the right way? 
Where's the cafe? Is this the cafe? Okay. Enter cafe. Okay. <sighs> another day, another empty room. Excuse me? But are you Madame? Yes. Are you here to listen to my story? Uh, well, we actually came to ask about something else. <sighs> I see. S sorry. It's fine. Do you know about Tales of Shariar? Huh? Tales of Shariar? Why, I can barely remember the last time anyone talked right. about it. My master always talked about how incredibly popular that book used to be. However, I tried reciting a few chapters of it at the cafe. Your master? Yes, the one who taught me how to be a storyteller. He said that Tales of Sharia was written by his master's master's master. Okay. He also said that this great great grandmaster was an academia researcher. And that even the sages liked the series. He wrote four volumes back then, and the reviews just got better and better. You couldn't find a single person in Sumeru who hadn't read his book. And then? What happened next? Why doesn't anyone know about Tales of Shariar now? Oh, it's hard to tell when it comes to trends. One day everyone likes stories like that, and the next day their tastes change completely. Instead of writing a proper ending, this great great grandmaster kept trying to extend the story to tap into yeah. popular trends it turned bad a lot of tropes then starting from the fifth volume the reviews started to go downhill how could that be then what happened to tales of shariar in the end in the end there's no ending the great great grandmaster tried to write a few more volumes following whatever trends were popular at the time but the trends kept changing right as he published his book. That's so sad. He got so infuriated that he stopped writing altogether and focused on his research instead. What? So there's no ending? The readers didn't care? <laughs> By that time, only a very small number of people were reading tales of Shariar. Anyway, it's time to move on, Farzad. <laughs> A work possibly have been that pop the only tangible thing my great great grandmaster left is the original draft of i mean Antara. you could learn a lot from talking about how not to make a story not to really he also left if you look at something bad and you're like his research don't write it like this when my master talked about legend of Antara, you can still learn something from it theses. my master is a much better storyteller than me even when we're telling the same story about Antara, but even he won't recite tales of Shariar due to its... So, Antara's story is the one that lasted through the years. Well, not even sages can definitively ascertain the quality of something like a story. In the end... Only time, Madame Farza? It's been a hundred years. Perhaps some things I once believed to be great aren't so after all. You don't have to worry about that. The story's decline might, have, might not have been due to change. It doesn't matter if it's a classic or a fad. What matters is that you like it. True. Yeah! Master helped me find a lot of famous books at first. But in the end... Yeah. It doesn't matter if they're popular or not. If you like it, then you like it. No matter how good those stories are, I can't improve my skills if I can't bring myself to read them in the first place. I think the best books for me are the ones I like. Problem here is not actually about infinity, but I suppose the principle is the same. Huh. Indeed. That is true. Readers' interest in trends of the time are not things that are so easily predicted. What was popular a hundred years ago could be completely forgotten in modern times. And yet, a hundred years, as far as history is concerned, is but a blink of an eye. If Tales of Shariar hadn't chased after trends and instead stuck to its original style from start to finish, it might have stood some chance of gaining renewed popularity. No, even if that didn't happen, at least it would be a work that was true to itself. Huh? Our conversation just got a lot more serious. Uh, I don't really get what you're talking about, but it does sound sensible. Looks like I also have to hang you, in there. You should think about the present first. You should about. think about your income first. Got <laughs> <laughs> income, I guess. How unseemly! I almost got carried away because of a single book. 
Well then, we should get back to the matter of our teaching material. It looks like we can't use tales of Shariar now. How about Legend of Atara then? It's, it's much, much too old. old. Okay. Hale, you found a book that you liked at the bookstall? Um, yes, but I don't really... Then we'll use that book as our teaching material. Now that I think about it, using a book that you like is the most... Read Percy Jackson, Kale. <laughs> come up with an appropriate course name we should be able to get away with this analysis of popular literature appreciation of what I propose perhaps yeah analysis my it sounds like you've dealt with the academia before let's go with that now then let's return to the book vendor in a bit and buy the latest volume of this oni budo for Kale ah, but if I wish to use it as teaching material I have to read it first true huh um Speaking of which, other than third eye of perception and illusory mirror, I also espy some unfamiliar phrases from the reader's messages at the back of the book, such things as, <clears throat> even if it reminds me of my dark history, I still can't help but be drawn in by the story, and the author has written all the things that I only dare whisper into a tree hollow. Why do people use dark history to refer to awkward or embarrassing memories? Is this some slang that was invented in the last century? If one of our learning objectives was researching linguistic changes over the past hundred years, it might make it easier to get these books approved as teaching material. I see. Oh, I can tell you what that's all about. So she wants Apparently to make, like, reading, urban dictionary. Some people used to imagine themselves as someone burdened by fate, fighting against the world, etc. Et but as they grew older, they started to become embarrassed by such memories. Some would write those fantasies into novels, while others would entrust such tales to Tree Hollow. Mara, you know, I suddenly have oh. <laughs> it's her. Huh? Why so suddenly? I think we can ignore the whole dark history thing for now. It's good to reminisce on an old tale. I knew it. There will always be people who love the golden oldies. <clears throat> now, let me tell you all about the ancient hero. On top. All right, sir. <gasps> oh, it's cute. All right, there we go. We finished Farazan's story quests. Yay! Okay. I think that's all. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do today. Who's online? Ship. Shut your mouth. I don't know anyone, I think. Yeah, I don't know anyone online. But uh, thank you guys for coming by. We finished Farazan Story Quest and we did we did weeklies as well. So tomorrow I don't I, I think I'll play something else first because there's gonna be a I'm guessing there's there's gonna be maintenance tomorrow. But I also need to Yes, thank you, I'm glad you guys had fun. I'll I'll tell you if I get another weird dream. But tomorrow I uh I think I can only play after reset because of the maintenance. So maybe you know, if I could come here early, I'll play another game. Here. I'll use up There you go. Cave funds anyway. I'll think of another game I'll play while waiting for the maintenance to end tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to cook lunch and I'm going to chill out. So uh, you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for... I what, what the heck? But yeah. I hope you guys Lions have a night, great rest of your day. Scale, no Thanks for joining me today, and see you tomorrow.
Yeah. I'll be playing Genshin again tomorrow in another game. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't decided what to play yet. But we'll see what we can do next. Alright. See you. Bye-bye.